Hi, welcome back. <laughs> right now, we're in the uh, final game show game of Bringing Back Memories of Night 59 of SNR. One year ago, we were, we were doing an NES game was suggested by Corey and why not do Hollywood Squares? We played it, guess what? We ended up losing round one, took back round two, went to a tiebreaker, and we picked May, and the question was, what famous movie star sung a very sultry first enough happy birthday to President John F. Kennedy? Her response? Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. I agree. Marilyn Monroe, we've got it. Other than we lost it. Pee Wee Herman singing happy birthday to President John F. Kennedy. Hopefully. That's right. He's back. Hopefully we get to hear it. In the same game for Hollywood Squares. This time we're going to title S and R. We're up against Rob. We got Dean, Sue, Jill, Pam, Mike, May, Eddie, Beth, Bass, Mike. Here we go. Do most of U.S. think that the quality of a college education it's getting worse. Only those parents whose kids finally graduated. <laughs> yes. I disagree. It's no. All right. Uh, where's up going? Dean. True or false? The Apostle Bird gets its name because it travels in a group of twelve just like the Twelve Apostles. Yes, and always over my car. It's <laughs> false. Disagree. It's true. It's actually true. Hmm. Beth. And in the Disney classic Sleeping Beauty, she wakes up after the prince kisses her. Does she say anything? How is it for ya? No, she's smart but never say a word. I agree. She never say any word. But she smiles. In the old nursery rhyme, where would you find the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker? <laughs> On the original day <laughs> game! <laughs> Go and rub it up, the three men in the tub, yeah. <laughs> The original contestants on the dating game! <laughs> oh, my God! It's the original contestants, the butcher, the something, and the candlestick maker, all on the dating game! <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, let's go for Joe for the block. It's a powder of alumina, silica, lime, iron oxide, and magnesia burned together in a kiln and pulverize it. Pulverize? What is it? A hard hat's lunch. Glass. 
Disagree? Cement! Wow! Rob for, uh, Eddie for the block. According to the Old Testament, Adam and Eve wore the wool, wool, wore the world's first clothes. Who made them? No one knows. They were hand-me-downs. God made them. Kind of creepy, but true. God actually did make them. Made for the block. He was a popular figure in the early days of TV, in his blonde curls and a pink tights. Who was he? I think it was either Murph Griffin or Bishop Sheen. Gorgeous George, the wrestler. Agree. It was Gorgeous George, the wrestler. Pan for the block. Agree. Most child... <laughs> Reverend experts agree, the ideal spacing between children is what? About two city blocks. <laughs> Five years. Three to four years. Ooh. Here we go, this is going to be pen for the win. What is the term used when investors are so... Anxious to buy stocks, they will buy just about anything. Hmm, only they get it from the Wall Street Journal. One C. Panic buying. Disagree. Panic buying. Oh, this is going to be for a five square win. Every baby has a soft spot on his or her head. Why? <coughs> to watch game shows. <laughs> <laughs> to accommodate brain growth. <coughs> Got it. And it was a five square win. <coughs> and it's the secret square game. Find this celebrity. That's the secret square. Mike. No. Mike wasn't it. According to the American Atometric Association, the minute you see a dress or a suit that you like, what do the pupils of your eyes do? They look for my credit card. They dilate. They agree. They do dilate. Wow. Dean. Nope. In the Bible, when Ruth said, Where thou goes, or goes, I will go. Who was she talking to? Her husband, her rabbi, or her mother in law? Her hairdresser. <laughs> her mother in law. It was her mother in law. You fool! Yeah, you fool! <laughs> and this is as for the win. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, ballerinas often suffer from weak bones because of too much exercise and too much what? <laughs> Butterfinger partners. <laughs> Dieting. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> Oh, it was dieting. Joe, the boy. <laughs> Through the handshake is an acceptable greeting in Japan. Most Japanese actually prefer what? A big, juicy red kiss. Bow, simple fifteen degree bow. From the waist is a vice. Wango. Eddie. Guess what? Oh, it's the secret square. Boy. We get it. And it's a trip. A holiday in Rome. This is also for the win, too. Here we go. 
in a unique policy, the state of Virginia is now requiring prison inmates to do this before they will even consider parole. What? <laughs> Asking Charlie Sheen's advice. <laughs> First, put the knife down. Take a drug test. I disagree. Learn to read at least two six grade ability before parole is considered. We got the game! No, actually, we got the round. We also got the tip to roll. Right. Right. Bob right. first. Mike. Oh boy. True or false? William Evans, an eight foot giant who served in the court of King Charles of England, always carried a drum in his pocket to make the king laugh. Where do you dig this garbage up? <laughs> false. It's true. Damn. Pam. Maybe this one is it. Nope. True or false? According to the Associated Press, some doctors are now using zippers instead of stitches on surgery patients. In protest, my tailor is now doing open heart surgery. False. Agree. Oh, it's true? Ouch! Now, if Rob goes for me and get this, he wins, and that will be the game. Well, it is Mona Lisa hanging out these days. Last time I saw her, she was with Ivan Landa and Monte Carlo. The New York Museum Modern Art. The Lavoie and Perry. Dean. According to a syndicated medical communist, what is it about doctors that bothers people the most? Cold hands. A test leave most people find doctors uncaring. I disagree. That is not going to be true, but it is. That's for the win. Oh boy. What is happening when Arabs are said to be basking in each other's breath? They are sharing a mouthwash. Conversating. We guess that one wrong. Eddie. In the United States, we say Merry Christmas. In Spain and Mexico, they say Feliz Navidad. In what country do they say Resolach Soyat? Any country after Trav Eggnogs. <laughs> Sweden, agree. Poland. Man, this is going to be a backwards and forward game. What is the main thing that distinguishes vultures from other large birds of prey? Vultures create primary in Hollywood. Vultures are the best hunters. Vultures are bold. They have no hair on their head. And he just got the game. That's a bet. Ugh, $900, hey man. So, I'm gonna add this carefully. $81,350. Plus $900 from Hollywood Chris. $82,250 to the common recipients who's gonna be first comment on this video. So that's A2250, the first commenters, comment on this video. We'll get that $82,250. And that will close out night 1, 11 of S&R. Kind of end out the night with a bang.
but well, well, after what we had been said and done, what we could do is now finally rest it off. No PV, <laughs> no PV humming right there, but as always. The best singer is on this channel. Alright. I'd like to, uh, first up, thank my strikers for being a part of as an R. We hope everyone out there enjoys this wonderful game of as an R, uh, game of Hollywood Squares, and enjoying as an R the most. I would like to, because like I said, I like to thank thanks everyone for being a part of it. Hope you guys like it. And next week we will do it again. This time it will be night 112. And this time we always got something up our sleeves. Thank you all for watching us on. See you all. See you all in the next video.